Okay, folks. Thank you very much. We're back. Now, you know something? Here on the show, we like to educate as much as entertain. So right now, we'd like to show you a very special nature documentary. Liz, could you please roll the film? Enjoy, everybody. Sleek, graceful, and majestic, she roams her lair with pride and confidence. But even this creature of habit must heed nature's call. Eastern American ostrich has a dual habitat. While she prospers here in an urban setting, during the autumn and winter months, her migratory nature calls for a more southern climb. The ostrich's traveling methods differ greatly from other fowl due to her oversized body. But she fares quite well in man's domain. <coughs> Using her powerful beak to protect her valuables, she can be quite resourceful. <coughs> no known foes in nature, except for man, specifically the cartoon hunter. But for now, our feathered friend is safe and continues her migration over the sea. A gregarious bird she often frolics playfully while on her journey, pausing occasionally to forage food here and there, wherever she may find it. A possessive creature, she can become quite ferocious if her meal is threatened in any way. Such is the unsympathetic way of nature. No one knows why they make this trip. Perhaps it is the instinctual call of their ancestors. Tamari! Tamari, my little girl, it's your sainted pappy. I come to tell you to follow in me footsteps and live your life on the sea. What? Speak English! You got a brain the size of a walnut, eh? <laughs> Back in danger, she instinctively senses trouble afoot. <laughs> but in a life and death situation, a female ostrich has a great advantage over her male counterpart. <laughs> While most ostriches are content with a few twigs and sticks, the Eastern American ostrich prefers four-star nesting accommodations. <laughs> Much like humans, when an Eastern American ostrich faces death, her life flashes before her eyes.
what's this? Oh. An idea. Uh -huh. La, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, old Eastern American ostrich. He won't be brandishing his fancy sledgehammer for quite a while. And now to take a well-earned hibernation through a long, cold winter. Tamari, come back! Please, Tamari, the show misses you! Come on back! Tamari! Listen to your stupid be quiet, puppy! Shut don't up! Just, Tamari, don't, don't listen, listen to him! To that crazy. Head. No, would Tamari, you be quiet? You just, shut uh, up! The sea, Tamari! Come on! Why am I in this sketch? Father's pet! Don't listen to him! Tamari, the please, sea, come Tamari. back! But the call of nature is not as strong as the call of show business. And the Eastern American ostrich's migration to the south inevitably comes to an aborted end, and so does nature's call. Well, that had to be done, ladies and gentlemen. We're all the wiser. Sam Waterston and Brandy are coming up. Stick around, we got a lot of show left. We'll see you in a second.